J.K. Rowling has faced many attacks over the years simply because she dared to voice her opinion that some people don't like. And while people are allowed to dislike her opinion, they don't want to stop it. I don't like you. They want her career ruined. They want her life destroyed. And they want her to go away and never create anything again. And the cast of Harry Potter has talked about how they don't want to support her in the past, how they refuse to work with her again. Yet now Emma Watson has come out saying, I'd love to be part of Harry Potter again. If JK wasn't part of the franchise anymore, the franchise that she created. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So I wanted to start with this giant freaking robot article. It says Emma Watson will return to Harry Potter if J.K. Rowling isn't involved, which obviously sounds absurd because without J.K. Rowling's creation, Emma Watson wouldn't be the woman that she is today. Emma Watson would not be a famous actress without J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World. The Harry Potter film series is one of the most successful franchises of all time. The original eight movies following a boy and his friends struggling to get a wizarding education while being constantly threatened with death made so much money that Warner Brothers cannot seem to let the idea of them go, even if they also cannot seem to figure out how to make them work. A key part of that would be getting back the original stars of Harry Potter, but our trusted and proven sources have been told that Emma Watson will only return to the franchise if J.K. Rowling is not involved in any way. Now, this is obviously a big problem because J.K. Rowling is the reason why these movies did so good. First of all, she created the Wizarding World that all of these films are based off of, okay? And she was also very, very dedicated to the movies. She was the reason why the movies did so good. She actually had a hand in creating the movies, and that is when movies tend to do really well, is when the original creators have something to do, if they're a producer, if they're a writer. I mean, look at the first few seasons of Game of Thrones and how well those did. It's because George R. R. Martin was a part of them. He was giving his feedback, and he also helped out wherever he could, and we look at the last few seasons, and it's like he got lazy. He stopped really caring about giving input, and with the last season, he tried, as far as we know, to give his input, but his input wasn't really listened to, okay? That is when movies do the best, is when their creators actually have a hand in them. It says that is a pretty big ask on Emma Watson's part to cut the original author of the Harry Potter books out of the franchise entirely. I do not think that this could ever, ever happen, okay? First of all, even if she wasn't part of a movie or, um a TV series, whatever the content is, she's still getting paid for it, right? Because it's her own creation. But it's like these people want her to just give up Harry Potter and give it to the next best person. Like, oh, you can take care of it now. I don't want to be part of it at all. I don't want to make money from it at all. That's what they want JK Rowling to say. And she is never, ever, ever going to give up on this world that she has created that has made her the person that she is today. It says, while the reasons for Watson refusing to come back to the wizarding world, while J.K. Rowling is involved, are not entirely specified, the safe bet would be how controversial the author and her social opinions have become in recent years. Um, if we look at people like Rupert Grint, Emma Watson, they have all come out and said that they basically hate J.K. Rowling and they think her opinions are awful and are disgusting. So why would they want to be part of a franchise that she created? Because no matter what you do, her name is still going to be on it. I mean, look at 
the situation with Fantastic Beasts, even the newest movie. Okay, she didn't have really anything specific to do with it, but they still had to include her name because she's still getting paid for it. It's still her creation. It's like these people just want her to disappear. They want her career ruined. They want her to disappear, never create anything again, never post anything else on social media, which is an absurd thought. It says, we have to speculate that J.K. Rowling's very public, very loud, and very constant commentary on the rights of transgender people in the UK has made Watson not particularly willing to be further associated with her. Now, I get that Emma Watson doesn't like J.K.'s opinions. She could say that she doesn't and move on with her day like most human beings should, but of course, she's not because she is desperate and there's no way around it. She has gotten very few roles in Hollywood since Harry Potter ended. That was the series that, that made her career and the series she will always be known for. She didn't want to do Harry Potter anymore once it ended, but now, of course, she's starting to open up to the idea of a return. But my problem doesn't lie with the fact that she wants to go back to the franchise. My problem is the fact that she wants the literal creator erased from the series. Shouldn't she want JK to have credit? I mean, Emma is supposed to be a feminist, yet she wants a woman's name erased from her work simply because she has opinions that some people don't like. That sounds ridiculous. And of course, people have talked about this on social media, have said, screw Emma Watson, basically. But um, I wanted to also reference this giant robot article. People are saying things like, Emma Watson is an actress who plays pretend and can be replaced by a number of other actresses who can also play pretend. The creativity and mind of J.K. Rowling cannot be replaced. Do you think it's ever occurred to Emma Watson just how lucky she was to be chosen for the Harry Potter movies considering she can't act? She never improved as she aged. She's still as wooded and awkward now. I'd stop gobbing off if I were her. I think that this is funny because I don't really like Emma Watson all that much. I think that she was fine in Harry Potter. She played the specific character she was supposed to. That will always be the role I remember her in. But if you look at the other movies that she's been in, she hasn't even been that good. And she hasn't even been in that many. I know Disney hired her for a short amount of time. And she was in, like, the new 2019 Little Women movie. But it's like every movie that she's in isn't as good as Harry Potter. And clearly, um, they're not as successful. Now, do I have personal hatred for Emma Watson? No. At the end of the day, she's just posting things on social media and saying things that she thinks are going to make her more popular. But she should be very grateful to JK because without JK, she wouldn't be a famous actress right now. She wouldn't be getting parts in anything right now, most likely. She was handed this opportunity because of the creations this writer made, and she should be a little more grateful. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.